This video will go over simple yet effective kill confirms for every fighter in Smash Ultimate. Kill confirms are an essential part of all fighting games, and these are only a few that the game has to offer. I'll quickly go over one or two kill confirms per fighter, and I may add some tips here and there on how to make these even more effective, so let's just get right into it. Starting off with Mario, we have the classic up air into forward air. In order for this to work though, you have to hit the opponent with a falling up air so that it true combos into a forward air. This can also work as a combo finisher if done properly. And another kill confirm is down tilt into reverse back air. The timing might be a bit tighter, but with proper practice this becomes pretty easy. Moving on to Donkey Kong, aerial down Bs are an excellent kill confirm option. If done close enough to the ground, you can follow up with an up smash or other options like an up air with really have percentages. You can also get a nice kill confirm off of cargo throw on a platform. If you launch the opponent upwards while landing on a platform, you can follow up with an upper afterwards, which may result in a kill since they're higher up. An important thing is that you want to delay the up throw as much as you can, releasing it just before you land, so they don't have time to escape. The first hit of Link's back air is really good for kill confirms. You can follow up with moves such as up B, forward smash, and up smash. Landing with an arrow can be followed up with a full half forward air for a strong kill confirm. And as a small bonus, if you land with the soft hit of neutral air, you may be able to follow up with a forward smash for a relatively early kill confirm. With Samus, you can come down with falling down airs which can be followed up with a charge shot or a strong back air. Just make sure you get the strong hitbox or sweet spot of back air. If you're using Yoshi for whatever reason, a simple yet effective kill confirm is up tilt into up air. Up tilt can hit the opponent regardless if they're in front or behind you. And you can mix this up by choosing to land with forward air, which can then be followed up by an up air as well. Kirby can come down with the last hits of neutral air and connect it to a forward smash for a surprising kill confirm. At times, Kirby may not get the strong hit of forward smash or just flat out miss the opponent, which is why you want to land with the last hits of neutral air and space yourself properly. Fox can connect his side B into aerial such as up air. Have it be a grounded side B or an aerial one, Fox can follow up side B with up air or even back air. And falling neutral air into up smash is a classic yet respectable kill confirm. As Pikachu, if you grab the opponent and throw them upwards, you may be able to follow up with down B or thunder. This can work at some slightly higher percentages, but the Pikachu player has to jump while they down B. And if Pikachu comes down with falling air, they may be able to follow up with an up smash. Luigi has some pretty complex kill confirms, but let's keep it simple. Down throw into up B is a scary kill confirm that all Luigi players should know how to execute. Ness can get quite a bit off of landing down airs. Falling down airs can be followed up with moves like back air, and upper respectively, make sure to practice both. Captain Falcon, like Ness, can also get a lot out of falling down airs. The main one being forward air, or knee, which works at various percentages. Or you can choose to mix them up by landing with the first hit of neutral air, which can also be followed up by different options. Drill Rest is a true kill confirm. The timing is a bit tricky, since you cannot land every hit of down air. Jigglypuff has to land before down air finishes, in order to properly get a rest in. And for a slightly easier rest skill confirm, you can choose to land with up air and then follow up with a rest. As Peach, down tilt is a great kill confirm move. At high percentages, you can follow up with down tilt with moves such as up air and forward air. Bowser's Neutral Air is a reliable kill confirm move at different percentages. It has a lot of different hitboxes, but at some point they can all be followed up with moves such as back air, side B, up air, and forward air. Ice Climber's long lasting up tilt can be followed up by a full hop up air for a nice kill confirm. You want to make sure you follow up their DI after the up throw though, but they can all be covered. If you hit the opponent with the weak part of Sheik's neutral air, you can follow up with a bouncing fish as a legit kill confirm. You want to hit the opponent with the late hit of neutral air, which will have them be in range for bouncing fish to connect. 
Neutral Air is also a good kill confirm move for Zelda, although used slightly different. By hitting the opponent with only the first hit Neutral Air, you can follow up with moves such as Forward Tilt and Forward Smash, and even Aerials as well. And speaking of Aerials, you can also choose to go for a Falling Down Air, and then Back Air or Up Air as a kill option. With Dr. Mario, you can go for a simple down throw into a strong down B. This one can be especially good because it's one of the few grab kill confirms in the game, which are extremely deadly. And although a bit unorthodox, if you hit the opponent with pills, you can follow up with aerials such as forward air if you're close enough. As Pichu, you can down throw the opponent, which can be followed up by an up air, and then followed up by a thunder, which can be a surprising 3 hit kill confirm. If you're using Falco, one of your main kill confirm moves is up tilt. It can be followed up by many different aerials such as back air and up air. You can also choose to land with a well-timed downer, which can also be followed up by different aerials such as forward air or another downer. As Marth, you can opt to go for the first hit neutral air, which if spaced properly will give you the tipper hitbox of forward smash. You want to space yourself as best you can so that you get the tipper hit of forward smash. Or you can mix it up and land with Falling Downer, which can then be followed up with a Tipper Up Smash or a Tipper Forward Smash. With Young Link, you can connect arrows into other moves such as a Full Hop Forward Air or an Up B. And instead of using arrows, you can simply go for a Down Tilt, which leads into the same options. Ganondorf doesn't have many kill confirms, but a really strong one is downer into forward air. You want to land a downer as close to the ground as possible, so that the opponent doesn't have a chance to escape. You can also connect downer into back air. Mewtwo has a nice kill confirm off a of down tilt, which can be connected into a forward air. And you can also do this out of a down throw for pretty much the same results. Roy's classic day 1 kill confirm is still alive and well. Jab in the back air is a legit kill confirm that Roy can do. This also works for Krom, but he has kill confirms that Roy doesn't, such as forward air into up B. This kill confirm forces Krom to SD, but if they have a stock lead, there's really no reason to go for it. Game & Watch's neutral air can be followed up by adjustment 9. It's obviously RNG based and not that reliable, but if you manage to get a 9 here, you have a legit kill confirm at your hands. Meta Knight's uppers can combo into themselves, which can then be finished by either an up B or a neutral B, both working great as kill confirms. And a rare one that I don't see that often is the first hit a backer into an up B at high percentages. With Pit, if you come down with neutral air, you may be able to follow up with options such as down smash. Again, you can't get the full hit in neutral air. You have to land before the move ends, which will make it possible to follow up with other options. You can also land with a reliable down air, which can then be followed up with an up smash or even a forward smash. As Zero Suit Samus, if you land with neutral air, you can follow up with a down B or flip kick for a stylish yet effective kill confirm. You can also choose not to go for a flip kick and instead go for a reverse back air. Or you can choose to land with the first hit of forward air, which can also connect into a reverse back air. Wario has a nice kill confirm by inputting a down tilt and then quickly dash attacking. Or you can choose to wait for waft and hit the opponent with a landing neutral air into said waft. This also works out of upper as well. With snake I couldn't find much other than landing with the late slash weak hit of upper, which can true combo into a back air for a rather weird but effective kill confirm nonetheless. Ike's main kill confirm option is probably neutral air. By landing with neutral air, you may be able to follow up with a number of different aerials for an effective kill confirm. Ivysaur has a nice kill confirm off of down throw. If the opponent DI's in, or doesn't DI at all, Ivysaur can follow up with an up air. This won't work if the opponent DI's out. However, for DI out, you can go for an up B instead of an up air, which might lead into a kill. Charizard has a simple but always reliable downer into up air kill confirm. Remember to also mix it up between short hop and full hop downers. Diddy has a neat kill confirm off of down tilt. You can follow up with options such as reverse back air or up smash if you want an easier kill confirm to execute. Lucas kill confirms mostly rely on falling back air. By landing with the sweet spot of back air, you can then go for an up air for a solid kill confirm as well as another back air if they're off stage. 
With Sonic, you can choose a spin dash, which can true combo into a double jump forward air for an efficient kill confirm. Sonic can also land with the last hits or sour spot of neutral air, which can then be followed up with a back air for a second kill confirm. King DDD's kill confirms will mostly come off of falling neutral airs. Much like other fighters, by landing with the weak hit in neutral air, you may be able to connect the full hop up air or a back air as well. One of Lucario's kill confirms is a simple forward air into back air. This works better with aura since it'll obviously kill earlier. Rob's new toilet can lead into many different kill confirms. One is a well known gyro combo, which is done by having a gyro in your procession, jumping and quickly releasing gyro with the Z button, and putting a falling air which will make you grab gyro again. Then you double jump and throw the gyro forwards, and lastly, input side B for a nice kill confirm. And for a much simpler kill confirm, you can just upper after the falling new toilet. Toon Link has a pretty cool kill confirm off of Boomerang, as well as bombs. By placing yourself at the right spot, you can connect the projectile hit into an aerial like forward air and up air. Wolf's falling forward air is an excellent kill confirm tool. You can follow up with options such as back air and side B. Another sneaky kill confirm is coming down with the late hit of neutral air into a down smash. The timing can be a bit tight, but at certain percentages, this will true combo into a down smash. I couldn't find much with Villager, except for this neutral air to down smash combo, which can be followed up by a forward smash if the opponent doesn't mash fast enough. Mega Man can throw his side B at different directions near the opponent, and then follow up with quick aerials like forward air and back air. Wii Fit has a crazy kill confirmed by landing with the behind hitbox of forward air. This hitbox has sort of a meteor effect, which can then be followed up with a forward smash. This works with heavy breathing as well. Rosalina has a couple of kill confirms off of falling neutral air, such as neutral air into back air, as well as up air. Little Mac unfortunately doesn't have much other than the classic down tilt into KO punch. Reninja however has two different kill confirms, one with falling neutral air which can be followed up with a forward air, and another one with down tilt which can true combo into a running up smash. This one is probably one of the trickiest to pull off, but with Pac-Man's neutral B, by setting it to the airplane, you can catch it in the air and throw it at your opponent again. Doing this may give you enough time to charge side B, but it's not that reliable in my opinion. Robin can use her side B to stun the opponents, allowing her to follow up with another side B, and then a well placed up air. Or you can also just charge your neutral B, and go for that after the first side B for a surprising kill confirm. By using Speed Monado, you make it possible for a neutral air to be followed up by a running down air, leading into a spike. The Koopalings have a couple kill confirms. One is by hitting the opponent with an exploding up B, then placing yourself appropriately for a forward air to connect. The other is by using the little robot Koopa to connect into a full out back air. Duck Hunt doesn't have many kill confirms apart from falling down or into up air. Pretty basic, but effective nonetheless. By doing the true inputs of Tatsumaki and Shoryuken, this makes it possible for down tilts to be followed up by these two options. With Ken, it's pretty much the same situation. But remember that you can also jab into these strong options, not just down tilt. Cloud still has kill confirms half of falling up air, such as downer when near the ledge. And one of his many limit break kill confirms is by coming now with neutral air and then following up with a dash forward limit slash. Corrin has the basic but always effective falling neutral air into reverse back air. Bayo has a nice 3 hit kill confirm which can be done by up tilting the opponent, then inputting a full hop up air which will place the opponent behind you, allowing for a back air to finish them off. Inkling still has a day 1 kill confirm which involves a simple up throw and up air. Simple but very efficient. If you land with the reverse hit of release neutral air, it would allow you to follow up with a dash attack. Keep in mind this only works with the late slash behind hitbox of neutral air, since the front will send them too far away. Simon and Richter have a pretty cool kill confirm, which involves them using down air to launch themselves at the opponent and then using up B to finish him off. King K. Rule is another fighter that has a simple but scary downer into smash kill confirm. This is one of the easiest ones to hit as well in my opinion. 
If Isabel connects her down B on you, she can follow up by double jumping and connecting an up air on the finishing hit. Or by grabbing you with the fishing rod and throwing you up into the blast zone. Incineroar can down tilt into aerials such as forward air and back air. This is another basic but respectable kill confirm. Piranha Plant can come down with the behind hitbox of up air, which can true combo into a back air. Joker's Arsene Downer is amazing for kill confirms. You can follow up with many different options such as up smash or different aerials. Another kill confirm is the first hit of forward air into a drag down up air, which can be followed up with a down smash. And this works with Arsene as well. Like many other fighters, Hero can come down with a falling downer and follow it up with an up smash. This works even better if it crits. Banjo's grenades can be followed up with options such as side B or back air if you want to mix it up. Much like Ken and Ryu, by executing the true inputs of Terry's special moves, they become deadly kill confirms off of down tilts and jabs. Steve has a pretty basic kill confirm which involves him jabbing and then forward airing the opponent if they're off stage. This works with all pickaxes, but Diamond obviously kills earlier. Sephiroth's kill confirms mostly end in a back air, have it be after a neutral air, or even a down throw at times. Pyra has strong kill confirms half of her down air. You can follow up with many different options such as up smash and aerials like up air, neutral air, back air, and forward air. And Mithra has a bit more trouble killing, but she still has a nice kill confirm by using up tilt and tail smash. Similar to Wolf, Mi Brawler can come down with a late hit or neutral there and follow up with a forward smash. Mi Sword Fighter can use the boomerang and then follow up with an up B for a scary kill confirm. And Mi Gunner can use her side B, which can be timed and comboed into a charge shot if available. Yo, what's good homies? Thank you so much for watching my video. Make sure to leave a like if you enjoyed or if you found it helpful in any way. Don't be afraid to comment below on any questions or video suggestions you might have, anything you would like to add, how I can improve my future videos, anything else you can think of. I love feedback from you guys and I respond to all comments as long as they're positive and respectful. You can also follow me on all my social media to stay up to date my current projects. Make sure to join my Discord server if you would like some coaching lessons or just hang around. And don't forget to subscribe for more future videos like this one, or just regular gameplays. Alright, thanks again for watching y'all. Peace.